Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Yamal Mahalingam Engineering College, Kovil Benni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture on the subject Fluid Mechanics and Machines. And this is lecture number 4.3, fourth chapter, third lecture. The topic what we are going to discuss is fluid kinematics. So in the fluid kinematics, we will be discussing about velocity and acceleration, circulation and vorticity and velocity potential function. So in the earlier lecture, in the fourth chapter, we studied about the fundamentals of fluid flow. We classified the flow into different types, steady flow, unsteady flow, uniform flow, non-uniform flow, compressible flow, incompressible flow, rotational flow, irrotational flow, one-dimensional, two-dimensional, three-dimensional flow. So there are different types of fluid flow and we derived the continuity equation. So based on the mass conservation principle, we derived the continuity equation which is applicable for uh, the fluid flow, fluid mechanics subject. And the learning outcome for this lecture, so at the end of the lecture, the student will be able to define velocity and acceleration and the student will be able to define circulation vorticity and the student will be able to explain the velocity potential function. Velocity and acceleration. So let the V is the resultant velocity of at any given point in the flow field. So we we, we know velocity and acceleration in the lower, lower semester engineering mechanics also we studied about the velocity and acceleration. In fluid mechanics we represent V is the velocity in the flow field and uh, it is a vector quantity. Velocity is a vector quantity. It has got the three components. So the velocity in the x direction, y direction, the z direction, u, v, w. So u, v, w are the component of velocity V in x, y, z direction. The velocity components are the function of functions of space coordinate and time. So it is a three dimensional unsteady flow. In general, we take the three dimensional unsteady flow, then uh, we simplify the flow for our mathematical calculation. So initially we assume three dimensional unsteady flow. So velocity u in the x direction is a function of x, y, z and t. V is also a function of x, y, z and t and w is a function of x, y, z and t. And the resultant velocity is V equal to capital V equal to u i plus v j plus w k which is square root of u square plus v square plus w square. And this equation you have to remember velocity resultant velocity equation square root of u square plus v square plus w square. For solving problem, this equation will be useful. Resultant velocity vector of a, a flow field. And the acceleration. So, Ax, Ay, Az, the total acceleration in the xyz direction respectively. Mathematically, Ax equal to du by dt. So, uh, we know u is a function of xyz and t and differentiating dou u by dou x, a dx by dt plus dou u by dou y, dy by dt plus dou u by dou z, dz by dt, plus dou u by dou t. So, velocity, acceleration, u is a function of x, y, z, x, y, z and t that, we, that we, we have seen in the previous slide. Now, here, the change in the length in the x direction with respect to time is called as u, velocity. Similarly, change in the y direction, length in the y direction with respect to time is v, velocity. And dz by dt equal to w. So, substituting ax equal to u into dou u by dou x plus v into dou u by dou y plus w into dou u by dou z plus dou u by dou t. And this equation also you have to remember. The acceleration in the x direction. u into dou u by dou x plus v into dou u by dou y and w into dou u by dou z plus dou u by dou t. And similarly, we can write in the y and z direction. So, ay equal to u into dou v by dou x plus v into dou v by dou y plus w into dou v by dou z plus dou v by dou t and a z equal to u into dou w by dou x plus v into dou w by dou y and w into dou w by dou z plus dou w by dou t and the three equations you have to remember. So look at the logic. So if you understand the logic then you can easily remember. So in all the four terms, first three terms you have u v w in the same sequence. Last term the velocity is differentiated with respect to time. 
So do e by do t, do v by do t, do w by do t. And in the three term, you have u v w. Here, do u by do x, do u by do y, do u by do z. So u is the velocity in the x direction. So differentiating with respect to x, y, and z, z direction. Similarly, here, v is the velocity in the y direction. So do v by do x plus do v by do y plus do do v by do z. And the w is the velocity in the z direction. So do do w by do x plus do w by do y plus do w by do z. So if you understand the logic of writing the expression, then you can easily remember. And the acceleration for steady flow conditions. For steady flow condition, there is no change in the velocity uh, with respect to time. So the time dependent parameter is deleted. So a x equal to u into do u by do x plus v into do u by do y plus w into do u by do z. a y equal to u into do v by do x plus v into do v by do y plus w into do v by do z. And a z equal to u into do w by do x plus v into do w by do y plus w into do w by do z. Then the acceleration. Acceleration a is calculated by a x i plus a y j plus a z k. So, which is square root of a x square plus a y square plus a z square. And the resultant acceleration, this equation also you have to remember. So, this is also useful for solving problem in the flow field. Then the acceleration, there are two types. One is local acceleration, another one is convective acceleration. So, local acceleration is defined as the rate of increase of velocity with respect to time at a given point in the flow field. So, rate of, you may look at the definition, rate of the increase of velocity with respect to time at a given point in the flow field. That is what local acceleration. Convective acceleration is rate of change of velocity due to the change in position of the fluid particle in the flow field. So, with respect to time is local acceleration. With respect to position, the derivative, the change of velocity with respect to position in the flow field, it is convective acceleration. And uh, from, the from the definition of the point, so the term dou u by dou t, dou v by dou t and dou w by dou t, they are the local acceleration. And the convective acceleration are other than dou u by dou t, dou v by dou t and dou w by dou t, like dou u by dou x, dou v by dou y, dou w by dou z, etc. So, there are many terms convective acceleration. So, the first, the time dependent parameter, they are the local acceleration. And the next parameter is circulation and vorticity. So, fluid particle and can undergo the following four types of displacement. So, when the fluid is flowing through a pipeline or when the fluid is flowing through a open channel, the fluid is flowing, but the, there are four different types of displacements. So, the fluid particle is moving from one place to another place. There are four different possible movements are possible. One is linear translation, linear deformation, angular deformation and rotation. And look at the diagram, you can understand. So, A is linear translation. So, the fluid particle without changing the shape, it is moving in a linear direction. That is what? Linear translation. So, fluid particle moving in a open channel, you just think of a fluid particle. So, when there is a fluid particle uh, that is moving in the linear direction. Then rotation, when the fluid particles are rotating about the center, mass center, that is called as rotational translation. It is rotating about the center in the anti-clockwise direction. And linear deformation. So, look at the dotted line. So, the shape is changing. Shape of the fluid particle is changing. That is what called as linear deformation. Then angular deformation. So, the when the fluid particle is subjected to force like this, it will, it will give the angular deformation. So, the fluid particle, when this is flowing in your flow field, Maybe in a closed pipeline or in a open channel, open channel, the four different basic movement of the fluid are possible. Now the you can understand the better fuel translation. So it is moving in a linear linear direction. A B C D is the central point, and A dash B dash C dash D dash, D dash is the next level. Then here linear deformation, the change in the shape. This is angular deformation. And this is rotation. So it is only a single flow part, fluid particle, right? So you have to look at at the microscopic level. 
So when you understand the behavior of the single fluid particle, then it is easy to understand the behavior of the entire fluid which is flowing through a pipeline or a open channel. Then when the fluid particle while moving in a direction of flow rotate about the mass center, then the flow is said to be rotational flow. When the fluid particles while moving in the direction of flow rotate about the mass center, then it is called as rotational flow. So look at this. This is what the rotational flow. The rotation of the fluid element may be defined as in terms of components of rotation about the three mutually perpendicular axes. So everything, so if it is a rotation, physically we can visualize the rotational rotation of the fluid particle, but you have to represent the uh, movement mathematically, then only it is easy for analysis. So we have to represent the rotation mathematically. The rotation of com rotation, rotation components about any axis may be defined as the angular velocity of any two dimensions, two infinite decimal linear element in the particle that are perpendicular to each other and the axis of rotation. The rotational components are given by omega x rotation about the x axis, omega y rotation about the y axis, omega z rotation about the z axis. So look at the component, rotational component 1 by 2 dou w by dou y minus dou v by dou z omega y 1 by 2 dou u by dou z minus dou w by dou x omega z 1 by 2 dou v by dou x minus dou u by dou y then again how to remember this equation so omega x so it is rotating about the x axis x direction x point in the x axis so look at here the other two directions are other two components are available so dou w velocity in the z direction and differentiating with respect to y direction dou w by dou y minus dou v velocity in the y direction divided by z direction. So dou v by dou z. Then only the fluid particle will rotate. Then similarly dou y equal to, so y is the y direction. So you look at the components here, the parameter here, the other two directions, dou u by dou z minus dou w by dou x. Omega z, similarly it is z direction. So there, there won't be z and the uh, w term, so dou v by dou x minus dou u by dou x. So this is what, this you have to, again you have to understand the logic of writing the expression, then it is easy for you to remember. If at every point in the flow field, the rotation corner omega x, omega y and omega z are 0, then the flow is said to be irrotational. So that's for irrotational flow, the flow following condition must be satisfied throughout the flow field. And this is the rotational component. When omega s, x omega y, omega z, they are 0, then the equation will be like this. Dou w by dou y equal to dou v by dou z from the first expression. Dou u by dou z equal to dou w by dou x from the second expression. And dou v by dou z, dou x equal to dou u by dou y. So these are all the conditions for irrotational flow. And these are all the conditions, equations for rotational flow. So if it is rotational flow we have to calculate we have to calculate omega x equal to omega x omega y and omega z if it is irrotational flow and this is this is this is the condition to be satisfied and if we define the circulation the flow along the closed curve the flow along the closed curve is called a circulation the circulation will occur in the in the flow eddies and the vorticities so circulatory flow normally in the fluid mechanics it is unwanted phenomena. So, we will discuss later about the circulation. So, the circulation will occur in the flow uh, in the flow in the flow in eddies and vertices. The circulation of two-dimensional flow field is defined by tau. How to pronounce it? Tau equal to dou v by dou x minus dou u by dou y delta x into delta y. And uh, vorticity zeta. So, zeta is the uh, uh, Greek letter. Zeta at any point in the flow flow is any point is defined as the circulation per unit area. So the circulation per unit area is the vorticity. So defined here zeta equal to circulation divided by the area. So area equal to delta x into delta y. So this uh, the tau divided by delta x delta y. This is dou v by dou x minus dou u by dou y. So circulation the zeta equal to 2 into omega z. What is this term? So look at the previous slide. So dou v by dou x equal to minus dou v dou u by dou y equal to omega z. So circulation equal to 2 times of omega z. 
then the vorticity is equal to twice the rotation of the rotation component about x about an axis perpendicular to the plane in which the area is lying the vorticity of three directions are zeta x equal to 2 omega x zeta y equal to 2 omega y and zeta z equal to 2 omega z so these are all the equations that you have to remember uh, for uh, solving problem if the vorticity is zero at all point in the region then the flow is flow in that region should, should to be irrotational when zeta x equal to zero zeta y equal to zero and zeta z equal to zero then the flow is called as irrotational flow if the vorticity is other other than zero then the flow is rotational flow so practically the flow is rotational you just imagine the flow of uh, water in the river so it is rotating and moving it is rotating as well as moving so any practical field open open channel flow it is rotational flow right so uh, uh, yes in practically the fluid flow fluid flow is very complicated in nature but we are we in laboratory we are making some assumption and do our mathematical calculation in the fluid mechanics next we define the velocity potential function so velocity potential function phi is defined as the defined as a scalar function of space and time such that its negative derivative with respect to any direction gives the fluid velocity in that direction so velocity potential function is a scalar function of space and time such that its negative derivative with respect to any direction gives the fluid velocity in that direction so if i if i mathematically express it is easy to understand so mathematically the velocity potential function is defined as for unsteady flow phi equal to a function of x y z and t for steady flow phi equal to x y z a function of x y z and this equation is what velocity potential function so u equal to minus of dou phi by dou x v equal to minus of dou phi by dou y and w equal to minus of dou phi by dou z now writing this equation you can now you look at the definition velocity function is a, uh, velocity function phi is a defined as the scalar function of space and time such that its negative derivative with respect to any direction gives the fluid velocity in the direction so what is negative derivative minus of dou phi by dou x x direction differentiating phi with respect to x direction that gives the velocity in that direction what is velocity in the x direction u so u equal to minus dou phi by dou x v equal to minus dou phi by dou y so the negative derivative of this velocity potential function with respect to that particular direction will give the velocity in the same direction similarly w equal to minus of dou phi by dou z where u v w are velocity vector x y z are the directions respectively for steady incompressible flow the continuity equation is given as dou u by dou x plus dou v by dou y plus dou w by dou z equal to zero this is what we derived earlier so the continuity equation for steady incompressible flow and substituting u v w in terms of phi so earlier slide we defined u equal to minus of dou phi by dou x so substitute so v equal to minus of dou phi by dou y w equal to minus of dou phi by dou z now you substitute here so dou by dou x of minus of dou phi by dou x plus dou by dou y of minus of dou phi by dou y plus dou by dou z of minus of dou phi by dou z equal to zero, and uh, expanding this will give dou square phi by dou x square plus dou square phi by dou y square plus dou square phi by dou z square equal to zero, and this is called as Laplace equation. So in mathematics you you, you may be studying the second order partial differential equation. so this is a second order partial differential equation for three variables and this is called as laplace three dimensional laplace equation this equation is called as three dimensional laplace equation for rotational flow the rotational components are given by omega x equal to 1 by 2 do omega uh, do w by do y minus do v by do z omega y equal to 1 by 2 do u by do z minus do w by do x and omega z equal to 1 by 2 do v by do x minus do u by do y now once again we substitute the u v w in terms of phi so omega x equal to 1 by 2 minus do square phi by do dou y dou z plus do square phi by dou z dou y 
omega y equal to 1 by 2 minus dou square 5 by dou z dou x plus dou square 5 by dou x dou y and omega z equal to 1 by 2 minus dou square 5 by dou x dou y plus dou square 5 by dou y dou x and uh, phi is a continuous function then uh, so these uh, conditions so from here phi is a continuous function so we have the dou square phi by dou y dou y dou z equal to dou square phi by dou z dou y dou square phi by dou z dou x equal to dou square phi by dou x dou y and dou square phi by dou x dou y equal to dou square phi by dou y dou x so therefore omega x omega y omega z equal to 0 the flow is irrotational so if the velocity potential function f phi satisfies the laplace equation then it represents possible steady incompressible irrotational flow so this conclusion you have to remember uh, they will give you a problem and verify whether this is steady incompressible irrotational flow so what is what you have to do we have to find out the phi terms and substitute in the laplace equation and you you have to con conclude we have to find out the solution the solution should be equal to zero when the velocity potential function satisfies satisfies the laplace equation then it represents the possible steady incompressible irrotational flow when the Velocity potential function is not satisfying the Laplace equation, then the condition is not satisfied. So, irrotational flow, they are called as potential flow. So, remember this conclusion, the irrotational flow is called as potential flow. So, later on we will classify the flow, potential flow and other type, laminar flow, turbulent flow like that, we potential flow and another type of flow. So, the condition is when the flow is irrotational, then it is called as potential flow. The Laplace equation for two-dimensional flow in cylindrical polar coordinates is given by so 1 by r dou phi by dou r plus 1 by uh, dou square phi by dou uh, 1 by r dou phi by dou r plus dou square phi by dou r square plus 1 by r square dou square phi by dou theta square equal to 0. This is the Laplace equation for cylindrical polar coordinate in two-dimensional form. And we stop here. So the uh, velocity so the we have to remember we have to remember the uh, the velocity acceleration term uh, velocity vector acceleration vector and we have to remember the vorticity and the condition for circulation flow and the condition for rotational flow so we have to define vorticity and uh, circulation and we have to remember the velocity potential function and the conclusion for solving the problem so the La what is laplace equation what are the terms in laplace equation everything you have to remember for solving the problem so we stop here and these are all the books i published in the mechanical engineering subject design of transmission system turbo machines heat and mass transfer operations research gas dynamics and jet propulsion thermal engineering flint mechanics and machinery and this book will be useful for uh, additional information in this subject and i have a youtube channel where i upload the video lectures on this subject you can refer to it use the videos for your better learning and uh, to pass in the gate examination. I am uploading the solution for gate question papers also in the YouTube channel. You read it, use it and uh, make a pass in the gate examination. Thank you for watching. So please post your comments on the comments box. So you subscribe to the channel so that you will get the updated videos. You can write to me to my mail ID for any clarification on the subject. So we will meet again in the next video with additional topics on the fluid mechanics and missions.